All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, bit of a change up. I want to talk positives of the coronavirus pandemic, and what I mean by that is, um, Polly and some other people have done, some other patriots have done some brilliant videos on event 201 and how the globalists plan to control us. Uh, using this pandemic to fast tra uh, pandemic to fast track their agenda 2030 projects and what I'm loving about this at the moment is they think they're winning because what does this coronavirus do it fast tracks um, it, it fast tracks uh, lockdown which is what they want us to do in Agenda 2030, they want us confined in our homes, they want us restricted travel, they also want us uh, social distancing, they um, don't want us in big gatherings because if you get a large amount of people in big gatherings, what does that do in protests and everything else? It fights the establishment and they don't want that, they want control. So, and plus, You've got Bill Gates talking about things like um, under the guise of coronavirus, microchipping the population for, as he says, it's for uh, tracking for people that have got the coronavirus. But really, it's about control. It's about a digital version of the um, Chinese social score system where you can go on the train and this other person can't. You can have a bank account and this other person can't. It's also, it's about fast tracking the digital world where if they don't like what you're doing or what you're saying or you're not behaving by the rules, if you're just a digital watermark, if you're just a digital imprint, then they can erase you, can't they? They can erase you. And also, who knows, with these digital microchips and everything else, people, psychopaths like Bill Gates and the people that Polly exposed in uh, her videos about Project CRISPR, they can perhaps own your genes then if your genes are taken over by a synthetic um, uh, robotic program. I mean, and also, you've got people like former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown opening, opening, openly admitting he wants world government to, and uh, sorry, I had to use the, sorry, I'm using the Guardian, but um, this is the first article that, popped up and it illustrates my point where people were saying well Google's algorithms might have been uh, broken well uh, the leftist papers are the still one the first the still ones still the first ones popping up in the search engines as far as I can see or Google anyway of course you know openly admitting that they want global government and the UN to take control of the coronavirus so but what this has done is it's fast tracked their plans we're at the end game here ladies and gentlemen that they know they're in trouble they know time's running out so they use they've used the coronavirus pandemic that they've released to f fast track all their agenda 30 Agenda 2030 plans, but it's been done rushed, ladies and gentlemen, and now with the all these things coming in at once instead of incremental little steps, which the globalists like to do, you've got the lockdown all at once, you've got the social distancing all at once, you've got the laying off of jobs all at once. It's all coming in at once. And people are starting to realise, hang on a minute, we don't like the idea of this. Instead of incremental steps and incremental brainwashing and 
and the glo what the globalists usually do is, oh, we'll just change this. It it won't really change how we run things. And then five years later, go, well, we'll we'll just change that, and we'll just change that. And before you know it, your whole world and your whole way of life is totally gone. The coronavirus, or, you know, the pandemic, has actually done us some big, big favours. It's waking a lot of people up. And, and what are people doing? They're staying at home. They're watching the internet. And more and more people are going to see... Uh, videos of my of people like my friend Polly e exposing this uh, world government tyranny and world government plan. See, they've had to rush this, ladies and gentlemen. With with them having to rush it, they're 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 making this. They're go, they're inevitably going to make some make make mistakes and expose themselves. One of them was actually. The public being able to watch Event 201 and being able to listen to these narcissistic evil globalists discussing how they were going to exploit a possible pandemic, a possible in inverted commas of course because they knew they were going to release it and um, flood the zone with their their type of information, the information they want out there, right? And handing out little little plushy little virus dolls. How disgusting and arrogant is that? But with arrogance and hubris and rash planning comes mistakes. So everyone is talking out, out there about, uh, uh, yeah, they've let the coronavirus go to bankrupt the Fed and they've let the coronavirus go to um, for the mass arrests that will be coming and everything else but I think it's more than I think it's much much more than that I think it's also um, to expose the full agenda 2030 plan to the normies much faster than the globalists uh, want to do it now the globalists are naked out there and it's also to it's also that the young college students uh, in America and Australia and everything else, like, you know, 40% of, you know, the... It's, a, it's an alarming rate, the 18 to 24s, 25s, uh, whatever it is, uh, think socialism is cool. Well, when they see the... Uh, what socialism actually means with uh, the the rationing of of food and other items other essential items uh, the draconian lockdown laws the control can't get can't gather with more than two people can't travel can't I mean that's what a socialist slash communist country is ladies and gentlemen and then while they're on their own not being able to go to school and everything like that in some countries they might actually look up what socialism really is and what communism really is and discover for themselves, hang on a minute, we might, this shit ain't that good, is it? No, it's not. So there are several, several advantages to the coronavirus pandemic, and I think that you and I and other patriots around the world should be reveling in the fact that they've had to go for the end game and they've had to rush this out so quickly. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Thank you very much. And, oh, I never say this, but for the first time ever, I want to say that if you like my videos and you appreciate my work, please like, share and subscribe. I don't generally do it because I figure if you, you watch my videos and you don't feel that they're good enough to subscribe to then you know really I know what you're doing it but if you're just busy and you forget to click the um, uh, the notification bell and you forget to subscribe 
Um, I know it's busy, so, you know, I'll just remind you. That I know everyone's busy even now, so perhaps even more so in some cases. So I'll just remind you to do it now. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, I'd really like you to support and share on all your social medias. And thank you very much for your support. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And the fact that this has been so rushed and they're going for the Hail Mary pass and the touchdown with 30 seconds left on the clock really, really shows to me that we are winning because this wasn't supposed to happen so quick. Anyway, thank you very much. I'd like to thank my uh, loyal subscribers and I'll see you again next time. Oh, and one more thing I'd like to say is there is a reason I don't show my face. It's not because I'm trying to be um, uh, Mr. Mysterious, although a lot of you might not want to see my face because uh, I don't think I'm a very attractive man, but that's beside the point. Um, I My webcam that I had is broken, and right at the moment I can't afford another one. So uh, it's not like I'm not showing my face because I'm trying to be, you know, Mr. Mysterious or uh, Deep Throat or whatever. If you want to see my face and want to see what I look like, I mean, because those pictures I use on my audio are seven years old, I'm a lot different looking now. I'm going bald and I'm going the horrible type of bald because I've got this huge land mass at the front and um, hair around the back and I can't get my can't get my carers to shave it every day, that'd be a nuisance, so I just leave it, I um, I just wish I'd hurry up and go bald quicker, because I'm, I'm not going to be one of those fuckwits wearing a toupee at 37, but anyway, again, that is all, please like, share and subscribe, thank you very much for your time.